Hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here from The Curious Piano Teachers and welcome to today's Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now every Tuesday morning Sharon and I have uh, an online meeting and we have done for ooh, five years now or so and um, we both turned on our Skype, which is what we do it on, um, this morning and you know we both went, whew. We'd started teaching again yesterday after having a, a week off and we both went, whoa, just feeling completely overwhelmed by the amount of work, by the amount of preparation that we're putting into lessons, by uh, the, the delivery tends to be okay these days. You know, we've got Zoom, whatever it is that we're using, sorted out. But it's all the preparation for the teaching and it's all the notes that need to be made after the teaching so that both the pupil and yourself are up to today from where we're moving forward and we both went oh my goodness me I just feel as though I'm on a little tread wheel and I'm running as fast as I can but somehow I'm just not keeping up and um, what was interesting is and we often find this that we both feeling the same at the same time and you know one thing was just telling each other about this felt so much better we both went oh yeah okay that feels better we feel lighter now because we've shared it with each other um, so Tuesday teaching tips really are, it's all about dealing with that sense of overwhelm and some things I've been doing this morning because I've been teaching this morning, I've got a bit more teaching to do this afternoon, to try and keep things simple because I'm the world's worst person who overcomplicated things and I'm never quite happy with how things are. Um, so I've been really trying working hard to keep it simple and this morning has gone a treat I have to say. Um, so one thing I've been doing for example I use Cadenza so that's okay because I can I can upload everything to Cadenza so my pupils are all aware of their practice tasks sorted yeah there's an awful lot of input that needs to go in from me but that's that's fine but the thing I've really really been struggling with is writing lesson notes afterwards because Frankly, all I want to do once I've taught three or four hours of online lessons and I've been working on the computer anyhow with lots of other things beforehand and I'll do more afterwards and meetings, you know, and even talking to your relatives, you're online. So the last thing I want to do after, after a lesson is sit at the computer and make my notes. I just want to run away, to be absolutely honest. So, um, so I've been using my notebooks an awful lot more now. My, my books I've reverted to um, using in normal one-to-one -one lessons um, because I just like writing just making very quick things this is what we're going to do this is the learning objective blah 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 but now using um, words as well and I'm using during the lesson so I have developed a bit of a color coding system that I write down what we're going to cover and then it's not exactly rocket science but I've got three highlighters and at the end I just I just highlight what we've covered in green what I didn't do in yellow and what I need to upload because that's the other thing for me to remember what am I going to upload and I, I'm going to highlight that in pink so all I have to do at the end of the lesson is go highlight highlight change highlight highlight and that then gives me the space um, to come back to it when I've got a bit more of a fresh brain and actually act on it. I write things down during the lesson as well. I check the student is aware of what we're doing on, on the Cadenza Practice app and I share my screen with them so that we all know where it is that we're going. So that's one thing I've done to simplify um, my systems to make it slightly more manageable and so that I'm not sitting at the computer. The thing I'm doing to simplify my systems is to um, create, I'm going to just start doing this as of yesterday, but it's working quite nicely. I'm going to create a PowerPoint. I use Apple, so I'm using Keynote for every single student. And um, any music that I need to share with them during the lesson that they might be playing and that we want to refer to, it's all going to go in this Keynote or this PowerPoint. And then each week, up it comes, exactly the same thing. I can also put in any rhythm cards, any extracts that I want to pull out and really highlight to them. And because I know it's in this one PowerPoint keynote that um, I can just refer to every single week. I, it comes out of their Dropbox folder and there it is on the screen. And again, that to me immediately goes, yeah, well, 
that makes it easier. Instead of having pieces of paper here, there and everywhere, and I don't really quite know where everything is going. As the term goes on, I shall add to the keynote. So it will be quite a, an extensive document, I suspect, by the end. But it's just to refer to in lessons when I do a sheen, a sheen spread, a, a screen chat and stuff like that. So I, I, that's, that's my burblings for today, folks. Thank you to everybody who's watching. See, Janice is watching. Anastasia. Hello, Anastasia. Daniel, hi. Hi, Daniel. Thanks so much for watching. Is there as well. Just final little thing. I want to say that we are having a webinar, a free webinar tomorrow at 8 p.m. That's British summer time. Um, so that's about 3 p.m. I think if you're Eastern Standard Time. And I think that's probably um, back to um, 12 o'clock. I think um, Pacific time and stuff like that. And um, oh, we've got people, hi there, Betsy, hello there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, from Piano Adventures, lovely, great, thank you so much for dropping in. I was just saying about the free webinar that the three of you tomorrow, you'll find there's a link down below that you can register for, great, we've got lots of people already registered. Um, we have 100 seats there, so you can join us live, or if you can't get on, we're gonna try and Stream it on YouTube as well, so over on our YouTube channel. And um, I'm really excited because my two new books have just been published, my Ready to Play series, and I'm going to be showing some really fun activities that you can pull out of that, again, to just give energy to some of these online lessons. And I've been doing this one, I've been doing the Engine Number 9 Rondo, which is bloody lots of fun. If you want to find out more, then join us tomorrow, or it'll be on our YouTube channel by Thursday if you can't join us live. To all of you out there, take care, not just from the coronavirus, but our own health, our own mental uh, ability. Get away from the keyboard. I'm finding I'm sitting at the keyboard far too much. Get out in the sunshine, get for a walk. <sighs> Enjoy your teaching. Take care, everybody. Lots of love. Bye-bye.